Hi, I'm Prof Z. Let me show you the tank ranges. So, what we have here is a, an example of our M range as well as the N range. The M range is our older aquarium system. They come in various sizes from 40 centimeters all the way up to a big 2 meter. And this was really our solution for modern, simple, affordable reef keeping. And what the M range includes is lots of innovative uh, design in, in the world of reef keeping. What makes it interesting is that we didn't try and redevelop the way in which uh, reef aquariums are built. We just tried to make the whole process a lot more simple. Um, so a lot of our technology was just re-looking at how things get built, the thinking behind the production process, and we've challenged that, and I think we've come up with a solution that helps put reef keeping in the hands of a much broader audience, and we've taken out the need to be a rocket scientist or an engineer of sorts just to own a very healthy, uh, productive aquarium. And later, and fairly recently, in fact, we've done our end range, so for every M range aquarium, there's an equivalent N, but N range focuses more emphasis on sort of quality in terms of material that is used. It's our more bespoke impression of the equivalent M range. Um, some of the differences uh, off the bat would be M range aquariums are hand cut glass and some of the units include polished edges, whereas N range we use crystal glass as opposed to standard glass, and you can actually see the difference between traditional glass and crystal glass if you have a look at the top edge here. And what it means when viewing an aquarium through crystal is that it's, it's a lot more clear because the glass doesn't have uh, that green content that glass usually has. And as a result, the detail on the fish and coral is, is a lot greater. Um, all our aquariums, though, are built using multiple split bases. So these are actually three independent base plates, and what that means is that our aquariums are a lot more flexible um, because nobody's <coughs> floor level is absolutely perfect. So what, what it allows is that the actual base of the aquarium is self-leveling, depending on, um, uh, you know, or able to respond to what is happening uh, with the floor below it. Um, our marine packages are, are, are pretty comprehensive. Uh, they include everything that you need to get an aquarium going, of course, excluding the livestock. And uh, I'll, I'll show you around. So we have the sumps. Again, it's a pretty comprehensive system. Uh, M-range aquariums come with an electrical shelf. And we also supply a power supply point for multi-adapter. Uh, the multi-adapter is also supplied with a timing device which controls the lights. Um, and the, the basic framework for the filtration unit would be a mechanical filter that sits at the back as well as a heater and then what we refer to as a media basket and that carries different types of chemical filtration material which again is all supplied with the basic marine package and then in the front section we have the protein skimmer and the uplift pump and our package also includes the drainage and the pipe work to connect the circulation from the display aquarium into the filtration um, through a very nifty uh, system which we refer to as our in and out boxes. So it comes down to two holes that's punched in the aquarium. Uh, the one allows the water to get pumped up from the tank at the bottom, the sump tank, and the other one allows the water to free flow back down to the filtration unit. And then by simply having these little removable boxes, uh, one facing up where the water flows down, whoops, it um, also acts as a surface skimmer. So if there's dust or debris building up on the surface of the water, it gets drawn down there. And by sort of virtue of the way this unit is placed here, it acts as a little strainer preventing snails or little starfish uh, crawling into the pipework. And the return flow, we just have the nozzle facing downwards which allows clean water to permeate back into the main water volume of the aquarium. Um, that's pretty much it in terms of the, the drainage. I'll show you around the back soon. While we're in front, I want to show you the lighting. So 
M range aquariums come with our C range of lighting. They're pretty powerful stuff. Uh, they're made up of different types of LED uh, modules which recreate different uh, light spectrum. And quite cool, they also have uh, splash guards uh, which help protect them. Um, and they're passively cooled using aluminium heat sinks. So this is the rest of the plumbing detail. So this is the outbox. We've also included a removable lid in case you want to get in there and clean out the pipe although you could just easily disconnect it here. And we've put a lot of effort and design work into the drainage system over the years because this often is where people struggle when installing an aquarium at home. So it literally comes down to two express fittings. The downflow pipe just clips over onto the flanged area over here and the uplift pump literally just clips into uh, the socket on this side. So when you have the aquarium at home, all you really need to do is add a bit of silicone along these nuts and, and that's basically the plumbing done. So what would have ordinarily taken half a day to do, you can literally do within five to ten minutes. Um, so that's pretty much the back detail. We've included adjusting screws for the LED so you can straighten them out and the LED power um, cables basically just clip using a very basic jack into the driver's uh, which would sit on the electrical shelf. So let me take you around the front again and show you the, the flow system. So for wave recreation, we supply a wave pump or a wave maker, also called a stream pump, and the supplied unit is adequate to keep your corals happy and recreate wave action within the aquarium. With M range, it's a, a basic analog pump, meaning it will run at its full capacity 24-7, uh, but that's fine for an entry-level aquarium and we've been using these systems for years. Corals are happy, they love it, they grow. So just to recap, what the marine packages also include is the salt for filling up the aquarium initially, the substrate, which we also refer to as aragonite, a bacteria uh, dose, which gets the whole system living, as well as a detoxifier to help purify the fresh water that was used originally to filter, um, or rather to fill the aquarium. So this is our N120 GT of our N range. This is a bespoke option aquarium. Uh, we've saved no expense trying to produce um, a beautiful piece of machinery. Uh, it's crystal glass that's been CNC cut. Um, our in-range aquariums has its own light, which we refer to as the in-light. We've gone for something that was simple and elegant, but at the same time, it packs an enormous amount of power. Uh, the glass is CNC cut, it's crystal front and sides, and we've reworked our drainage system from M-range and taken simplicity and ease of operation, I think, to a very new level. It's just elegant and beautiful. It doesn't detract from the aquarium. Um, end range aquariums include a digital flow pump, uh, which means that it's computer controlled and it allows for changing in wave action and intensity. The cabinet work is hand sprayed Chinese lacquered finish. It's coated in several layers of yacht varnish in a relatively high gloss finish. And then of course what makes end range very unique is the fact that it has its own operating system which we refer to as Avery and I'll talk you through some of that shortly. Um, it's modeled around our method of reef keeping and uses very traditional equipment in practice or in principle rather but what we've tried to do was take away the idea of having freestanding life support uh, components and we fused it into a simple shell so with every what we have is a dynamic life support system. It's more than just a sump uh, with a water reserve chamber, but it actually includes all the life support machinery that's been molded into the sump unit. As far as we know, there's nothing else like every. Um, and the purpose was to A, make something that was beautiful, and secondly, to just make reef keeping so much easier. Unlike the M range, end range comes with a lot of the upgrades that are pre-built into the system. So I'll show you um, around this and give you a sense of how it, it, it all works. 
but right at the back we've got the downflow which comes from the display aquarium and it runs through a mechanical filtration area uh, which utilizes a filter sock. It can also be replaced with a wadding system depending on the aquarist preference. The second area is where the water drains from the life support into the main chamber and also includes the auto top up switch because it has a built in controller that will regulate the water level and um, allow for replacing of evaporated water. So that fresh water reserve basically sits in this chamber over here and then from there the automatic top up system sends water across. And that really makes it a lot easier uh, in terms of managing water levels. The next section is the protein skimmer which again we fused into the sump housing and it's so simple. It's got a little skimmer cup and this will be taken to a basin once a week and just rinsed out as it builds up with dirty water. And our bacterial reactor is quite unique and that's where it gets its name from. So we use something called a mixotrophic bacterial bed and that's where we got every active variable reductive interface. And really what it means is that instead of using computer management to control the bacterial reactor, we just allow the bacterium themselves to take a decision because bacteria are constantly changing and are able to sense the environment and make adaptations uh, depending on what's going on. So every is pretty revolutionary in that it takes its instruction from the bacterium itself as opposed to using microprocessors and controllers to try and force a specific bacterial bed to manage the aquarium. Uh, in the next section we have the calcium hydroxide reactor and that helps maintain the calcium level of the water as well as the water hardness and that ties in with the water replenishment system through the automatic top up and the main pumps are easily accessed from the top down uh, through the glass sliders which helps insulate heat keep down uh, moisture and also helps muffle the sound so every pretty much has all the upgrades built into it it's a standalone system and again it's just about a product that is simple beautiful easy to use minimal amount of moving parts and again it's 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 pretty revolutionary in uh, its thinking and its way of operating. So let's have a look at how the flow connects from the filtration system to the main aquarium. So what we've done is we've taken our understanding of slow flow transmission systems because I think I should mention that what makes power lab aquariums quite unique is that unlike traditional aquariums that send an enormous amount of water from the aquarium through the life support we literally tickle the water from our filtration system into the main aquarium. We've been using this system for about eight years now and swear by it. It's lighter, it's more affordable, it produces less noise and splashing, it uses less electricity, there's less salt buildup in the aquarium. So over and above the benefit to the aquarist, slow flow transmission system has an enormous amount of benefit to the aquarium as well. I think primarily because the dwell time of particles in the aquarium is far higher and therefore corals have access to food particles for much uh, longer. And also what we find is other than just the corals growing at a quicker rate and colouring more brightly, we find that there's more diverse development on the rock work which we refer to as live rock and finding really like interesting creatures that start to proliferate within the aquariums using slow flow transmission systems and I think the main reason for that is that they have access to food for a, a, a longer period of time again because traditional aquariums can very quickly strip out uh, viable food particles in the aquarium so the way we've done uh, drainage on end range was just taking M range uh, drainage systems, uh, you know, one step up, making it a lot more simple, a lot more elegant. We have um, what we now refer to as our exhaust box. So the box itself just gets silicone to the back panel. The right hand side is where water gets pumped up from the uplift pump, and the left hand side, water flows back down to the downflow pipe and later then meets the filter sock or mechanical filtration system. The outlet side also includes a removable lid for servicing. But let me show you the flow system. 
In range tanks include a wave pump as well, but these are digital wave pumps, which means they tie into a little controller box and the pump is able to generate different types of wave actions from low tide, high tide type of effects, um, rolling wave patterns to more constant flow patterns, and that just allows for a healthier flow dynamic within the aquarium. M range, 15 years of design, 15 years of improvement, 15 years of refinement, producing an aquarium that is beautiful, that makes reef keeping affordable and simple. N range, it's what you get when you take 15 years of maturity and manifest that as something new for a new generation of reef keepers.